Let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here. Trail to the east and the wind to the west, and shots of thunderstorms expected to turn out to the west and close by my area for the upper midwest of the northeast. The upper level pattern for the end of the week will feature a general trail across the eastern half of the United States while a ridge will remain in place to the west. A few weak short waves will all off the expected pivot to the east and a broad upper level low over the southern Canada during this time. At the surface, a high pressure ridge will build across the midwest and the eastward in the northwest. Northeast by the end of the weekend, a second cold front is expected to enter the, the northern interior states by the weekend. Out west, a monsoon flow will continue to more, provide moisture for the sun. Kind of showers and thunderstorms across the four quarter region. And well, as the desert southwest by the end of the weekend, more of the country areas that a great fall will likely be near about the ranges where absolute flow will aid in the thunderstorm development. As the thunderstorms may reach as far north as Idaho and Wyoming, and for the use of the United States, a cold front will reach most of the east coast by Thursday night, while the west end of the front will look to stall over the deep south for the end of the week. Heat and humidity will be present ahead in the south of the front, along with showers and storms in another area of showers and strong thunderstorms all from Martinique. Central plains and high quality air mass will be enjoyed by the residents of the upper Midwest and Great Lakes and Ohio Valley in the wake of the Gold Front. Here. State TV confirming that uranium was taken from Mosul University when ISIS overran that city last month. It is a small amount, just 88 pounds, we are told, and the International Atomic Energy Agency... All right, let's take a look at our forecast discussion in security on New, New England air. All the same, the Iraqi government wrote to the UN warning them about it, saying it said, saying uranium could be used... Our passive cold front this morning will stall just south of the Cape and down today, which will bring a lingering chance of showers to the south coast today. Otherwise, mainly dry weather prevails into Saturday with seasonal temperatures that turn to less humid. Our cellar weather returns late Sunday and early next week with the risk of showers and thunderstorms along with increasing humidity. New term until 6 p.m. this evening, a 4 a.m. update. The cold front continues to slowly move across the southern wing of this morning. Looking at some risk observation, two points for it is straddled over the Marshfield, Massachusetts, that ground and connected as a low level jet continues to increase. Shots and thunderstorms have continued to develop in long and all the area lacked a strong instability. There is enough deep layer moisture to be noticed at Cape Hells combined with strong to allow. But these storms continue to believe severe weather potential as well. Cannot realize some strong storms with gusty winds elected and every rainfall can also be an issue with pot fouls are about one half inches and strong storms are curling over the Cape. But look at that, so even more storms have festered itself in long out since the floor is born. The southwest of the office do not see a reason why the storms would make it to the southern waters. No, in fact, dry air is moving into the region on for some more comfortable conditions and temperatures in the mid 60s. Here, take a look at this as a, a cascade of water, mud, and trees comes barreling down. That mudslide swallowed two nearby homes. The mother and three sons were pulled from the debris and taken to the hospital, but one of the young boys died. Three and a half inches of rain. All right, let's take a look at our. Hurricane Center. Never expected any light. Sterling is being forced out of the NBA over his racist comments. Wednesday, he vowed a lifetime of lawsuits against. Cloudiness and shadows associated with a broad area of low pressure located about 650 miles southwest of the southern tip of the Baja California. Um, to sell the team on behalf of the family. The Baja California Pentamex will have changed a little the organization. This system still has potential for development during the next 12 to 25 hours before the environment becomes unfavorable for tropical conditions. Cyclone format. Formation chance by 40 hours low, about 20% of formation chance for 5 days low, about. 20% there. All right. You know, people say since the Americans went out of the World Cup, America doesn't care anymore. I was in a restaurant and the place was glued to every TV yeah, yeah. and exploding with every penalty kick. It's going to be a fun final this weekend. I know weekend. that with Latin America and Europe represented. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, from Nigeria. 
Wind speed 50 miles per hour, gusted to 65 miles per hour, and it's east of. Tokushima, Japan, as a tropical storm here. We have this cold front that is draped all across the east coast. It kind of stalls out a little more towards the rock. And it's going to make its way to coastal Japan in the next 12 to 24 hours here. Hi. Those showers and a slight risk of some severe storms from two areas of severe weather, one from northern North Dakota and one from northeastern Wyoming and western South Dakota, northwestern Nebraska. Some larger population centers of risk area are Rapid City, South Dakota, Monarch, North Dakota, Pierce, South Dakota, Spearfish, South Dakota, Rapid Valley, South Dakota. Hail, damage, winds, future is going to be ruled out here. Yeah, okay, let's take a look at our. Hi, will be 83 for Boston, 84 for Hartford, 83 for New York City, 81 for Worcester and Concord, Hampshire, it's 80 in Albany. It's coming up in just 30 seconds. Yeah. 78 in Rutland, Vermont, and it's 79 Puck, Maine. What if he wants a fish or a dog or a iguana? What if that iguana breaks his arm? Or what if he wants to study abroad if he needs braces? Or she? What if they both need braces? What if there's more than one of them? What if there's six? What if we say a little today? Just so the predicted I will be 78 to 84 degrees yeah, here. Saving what you want, like essentials. So you can save the All right, 78 for guys, it goes like this for today. But the sun's got higher, about 86 degrees, north for about 5 to 8 miles per cup of coffee in the afternoon. Tonight, park has got low to 60 degrees, south for about 5 to 7 miles per cup of coffee after midnight. Friday, but the sun's got higher, 82 degrees, a lot of variable wind becoming these around 6 miles per hour in Friday night, most of the goods got low to 61 degrees, and south face, what about 6 miles per cup of coffee in the evening. <coughs> Saturday, sun's got higher, 82 degrees, scarf wind becoming south face, about 5 to 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. Saturday night, park has got low to 62 degrees. Sunday, most of the sky's had her 80 degrees. Saturday night, church of showers and thunderstorms. Most sky's got low to 68 degrees. Church of perspiration is 40%. Monday, church of showers and thunderstorms. Most sky's got had her 82 degrees. Church of perspiration is 40%. Monday night, church of showers and thunderstorms. Most sky's got low to 72 degrees. Church of perspiration is 50%. For Tuesday, church of showers and thunderstorms. Most sky's got had her 82 degrees. Church of perspiration is 40%. Tuesday night, church of showers and thunderstorms. Most sky's got had low to 68 degrees. Church of perspiration is 40%. For Wednesday, most of the sky's got her 82 degrees. Peter is what a phrase of a day. A terrific Thursday on tap with some low humidity here. Peter, Channel News Time 715. Time to have a little travel report here, and it shows Greater Boston here, where 95 north, a little slope from Norwood to 128. 24 northbound, a little slow from Stoughton down to 128 in Canton due to an accident. On 128, on the ramp from 120 to 24 set. From 24 north to 128, not in in Randolph Fair, so trust us, actually, I'm in 93 north, a little slow from Braintree all the way down. Take down the story. To Mossy Boulevard in Dorchester due to one accident, an accident on. The story is inaccurate. And Staff is especially on exit 10, Staff on in Quincy, on Squadron Street, Stop and Go traveling from Seminole to Dorchester here. <laughs> And mass pack accident on the West Pantine, New Logan Airport. So it's act up from 1A, so we go from 1A in East Boston all the way down to Ted Williams Tunnel here. 93 stop, low soil from the Middle Falls Reservation all the way down to Somerville here due to some incidents around the Middle Sex Falls Reservation here on 93 stop, down in Route 1, stop, low soil from 16 in Revere all the way down to the Tobin Bridge due to some road work here. Is it just keeping with his persona? One straight westbound, a little slow for Britain, all the way down for Woburn due to the next to the dawn. Ninth, one straight south, near Route 3 in Woburn here. Only George. Mass back at the eastbound side. A little slower. After you pass the Prude Tunnel and a couple places doing an accident, there. And Mass Park at the East Park side, a little slow from 128 in Newton all the way down to right to here. And 128 North, a little slow from 95 in Norwood all the way down to 109 in Westwood. Of Route 3 stopped a little slow around the southbound side from 495 and a little to Bill Ricca here. 
and 495 southbound accident there. On Route 97 in April, here to stress us of extra time here. Freelancer, guys, back to you. Right, Katie, tour on this. And otherwise, 95-24, good go from one trade to the Rhode Island border. Route 3 is blue and fine from Braintree to Suckboard. 485, blue out fired from Ainsbury all the way down to Wareham. And Route 3 mile fired from Braintree to Suckboard. And Route 6 mile fired on both sides from Suckboard and Fu. Harwich and 195 mile fired from Providence down for Wareham. And 20 mile fired from Buzz Bay down to Falmouth there. And all the Rhode Island highways are blue on fine here. Home. 195115 from Providence, down for Wareham, and 95115 from Adelaide, down to the Connecticut border. And 295115 from Adelaide, down to Warwick. This is pretty good, we see people. Up and Mass Pike East, but also from Route 9, Fairman, to Nate. Here. This is pretty good, we see people. Good day, what a good positive attitude, dear.